Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. And this is the new Torbjorn. We've had to wait a few hours for this to go live on the PTR, so there must have been some issues and stuff going on that we don't know about. But new Torb is finally here. So what the hell is he? Is he any good? Well, I've only played him for like 10 or 15 minutes, but you can see from this gameplay footage here, he's actually much better than he was before. Whether it means he's actually going to be more effective, I don't know. What I mean by better is he's more enjoyable, he's more engaging to play. There's a better flow to the hero. So... First things first, it's quite obviously, uh, his turret, it's now you throw it down and it deploys instantly. It's sort of like a set and forget kind of thing, but you can set this back up again in other positions. So if you want to get rid of this thing, you can just destroy it and then wait for the cooldown and throw the turret back down again. However, let's talk about the rivet gun. So the primary fire, it now travels faster when you fire. It goes up from 60 to 70. This means it's easier to land shots with it. It's also got a faster reload time, which means, well, you reload faster. So this means his gun has had a, just a direct buff. Secondary fire on this bad boy is insane. You can see me using it now. The spread is really reduced on this. Fires at the same rate and the same speed as primary fire. Reloads at the same speed. It is quite ridiculous. This, when you couple it with the new ability, overload is insane. So overload replaces the armor pack. But what Overload does is turns you into like a mini Molten Core. So you can see me activate it now. I move faster. I shoot faster. It's crazy. Like it's honestly absolutely crazy. This is what they say it does. So it replaces Armor Pack. It lasts for 5 seconds. It's got a 12 second cooldown. It temporarily grants 150 armor. It increases attack, movement and reload speed by 30%. That's ridiculous. But what's even more ridiculous is what you can see me using right here ladies and gentlemen. That's Torbjorn's ultimate. But I only fired 3 shots. Because actually, it's got 10 shots, but I fired three. So you've got six seconds. Uh, hang on. Uh, is it six seconds? Yeah, you've got six seconds to fire 10 shots out of Torb's uh, crazy molten core arm. And uh, yeah, this puts an area of effect on the ground, which damages armor and health, but does extra damage to armor, and it damages you over time. So it's a dot However, it works in a very interesting way. So it, it's got two different dots, but they don't work at the same time. So it will burn through your armor, then burn through your HP. I believe that is how this is working. It doesn't burn through both at the same time. I should be literally dead instantly. But look at the coverage you can get on this. It's crazy. Look at that. So the bots are obviously walking into this and getting killed. That's insane. So just to go over the details of this again, switch weapon from rivet gun to his claw arm last for six seconds, fire up to 10 molten globules that create damage pools where they land for 10 seconds, bounces off walls and ceilings until coming into contact with the ground, base damage is 130, damage increase from 130 to 190 against enemies who have armor. So that's how it works, right? When you've got armor, you take 190 damage until you don't have armor, then you take 130 damage but you don't take both damage at the same time. So even I was slightly confused when I initially explained that just. This looks crazy. This is like an insanely high damage output ability that just annihilates groups of heroes. Now, the big thing here is what about shields? Like, w will a shield block this? Well, actually, I've got a comment that Jeff made. Uh, this is Jeff Goodman. Um, if I can just bring this up. Yeah, so this is what he says. The projectiles are blocked slash bounced off barriers. So if you fire it directly at a barrier, it's going to bounce or fall off, which is cool. But once it creates a pull on the ground, the area damage ignore barriers. So the pulls themselves still deal damage to the barriers. They just can't be blocked by them. I mean, I think that's going to need testing to see what's going on. But yeah. Toby, Toby. So, what we're going to do is jump forward now to a custom game. This is because the PTR is currently in a bit of a state, so it's difficult. So, what we're going to do is go to Watchpoint Gibraltar, and we are going to load in a bunch of easy bots. Um, the bots that we've got with armor, obviously Bastion. Uh, I think we've got Roadhog um, in this. Uh, Roadhog doesn't have armor, does he? No. Um, so, basically, Bastion will take extra damage in, in this. Uh, you can see it's taking a fairly long time to load up the game. Um, and I'll just show you what this kind of looks like when you're firing at actual characters and not just the bot it is quite ridiculous now this ptr patch has actually got a lot of stuff in it there's change i mean i'll quickly cover them here 
but we're basically looking at a bunch of changes to DPS heroes effectively. So McCree's combat roll has been reduced from eight to six seconds, which is crazy. Farah has been like Farah has been turned into something insane. We're gonna see ridiculous Farah jewels in Overwatch League, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, when this goes live. So basically she can fire much quicker with the rockets, but we'll go over that in another video because that's gonna be crazy. Also, we've got Soldier 76 has been buffed as well. Um, he's now got he can fire more shots before he, he has damage um like sort of spread starts happening but we'll cover all that in another video um, because frankly it's pretty late here ladies and gentlemen and i'm sort of i'm powering through on the tour power because it's so cool it's just like what the hell tour anyway let's go into what's actually going on on the screen so with torb um like what i'd like to do is is, is kind of theory craft where this goes because you can see me messing about with him here you can see what's going on you can see that it's much easier to lay down the damage at range with torb it's much easier to just pump out tons of damage to big targets with his alternate fire. He is a little son of a tank destroyer. That's what he feels like. You know, and let, let's not beat around the bush here. His ultimate uh, is basically the biogun from uh, Unreal Tournament. <laughs> right, it, that's what it is, right? Any, any of you guys have played Unreal Tournament, that's what this is. Um, it's just a torb version. And instead of firing, like, green globules of goodness, it's firing... Um, like, well, apparently red there from the enemy kill count. But it, it, molten lava uh, blobs of, of goodness. Um, yeah, so this is... It's, it's going to destroy anything with armor. So if you've got armor, you take extra damage, right? So if you're armored up with armor from anything, if you've got it from, like, Brigitte's uh, armor pack or repair pack or whatever it's called, you can't get it from armor pack because that's not an ability in the game anymore, um, or rally. So if you get armor from that, um, you will take 190 damage a second when you stand in the Torb Juice, or the, to the Torb, like, Spunk, let's be real. Um, uh, or you take 130 if you don't have armor. That's still a lot of damage a second, considering how much he can actually pump out. For a little man, he can pump out quite a lot. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so, like, watch this here now. I'm about to spray it everywhere. So it's, it just sounds so wrong. Is, look at that. I've sprayed it everywhere, all over the point. It, it, the area denial potential of this is huge. This is like a game-changing ability. There is a comp in the game called GOATS. GOATS relies on a lot of tanks. But even if you don't play GOATS, and even if you don't even know what GOATS is, it doesn't even matter, ladies and gentlemen. Because what this does is it, it lets Torb just roll up and absolutely, like, slam areas of the map. It Maybe you're playing against some cheese comp, right? Some, like, I don't know, some pirate ship madness is going on. You can't have barriers all the way around the the, the, tor the the bastion on the payload to protect it. That's impossible. The Torb would be able to shovel all of this stuff in, and it would kill the bastion so quick, it would be sick, ladies and gentlemen. So this is major. Like This is really, really major. Like, for the first time, we've got a hero who can lock down areas of the map. This is crazed, right? I mean, yeah, you can say, all right, we've got a wrist, we've got heroes, like but it's not the same. I mean, look at that. This is huge, considering how much damage he outputs as well. And obviously, the very simple combo... Uh, that we're looking at with Torb is you just rush in um, with his new E ability, which just makes you move faster and do 30% more damage and you fire 30% faster, um, and you just spam right click into people. One dangerous thing that I'm kind of noticing after messing around with Torb is his alternate fire just seems better than his primary fire at like ranges you would expect primary fire to take precedent. It kind of doesn't. I mean, watch this here. Look at the damage. I mean, okay, they're standing in, they're just going to die. None of these guys have got armor, but look at all that extra damage they're taking. You know, you imagine combos with this. They're in a grab, and you just spew your Torb juice all over them in a grab. It's it's just going to delete everybody. It's just insane. I can't, like, I can't stress to you guys how crazy this is. I like the turret as well. I, can't, I haven't really spoken about the turret, but Torb's turret, I, I understand where they're coming from with this because it's Torb's, like, fantasy. Blizzard always going a lot about the fantasy of the heroes. Like, Torb, yeah, he's the little engineer man. He's the dwarf guy. Wee! You know, he's got a turret. Um, I mean, I, I still don't know why he's got his hammer. Because, I mean, your hammer's completely pointless now as Torb. Um, there is no point you would use the hammer. That's just literally been kept for flavor, I think. Um, it'd be funny if you could, like, throw the hammer or something in uh, in the super molten core mode. I, who knows, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but this this Torb is, is crazed. I mean, I think, I mean, it's all of this is wild speculation. So, I mean, we've not played it in any kind of meaningful way against bots in the training range. It doesn't really mean anything. Um, you guys can see what this is. What I want you to do, that if you're a Torb player, let me know what you think about this. Do you think this is a good change, a good direction to the hero? I feel this is good because it makes him useful, whereas the old Torb was kind of not that useful. This is an offensive character now. This is not a defense hero. Torb's going to come and get you, ladies and gentlemen. 
and he's gonna well he's he's gonna spray all of his Torby goodness fall over you. Um I should you'll probably end the video now. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>